Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration video. In this video, we're looking at the Select tool, which is kind of the Swiss Army knife of Ultrix tools. We're going to be looking at the example data set. Um, the Select tool can be found either in the preparation category or in your favorites bar. It should be one of your favorite tools. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is a simple select. We're only going to select the first three fields. Um, rather than unchecking all the boxes, we're going to go to Options, Deselect All, and then choose the three fields that we want to keep. So as always, we'll hit the Run button after configuring our tool, and we can look at our data as it comes into the tool and as it goes out of the tool. So we can see that we go from 15 fields down to three. Um, next, we're going to look at how we can modify our data types. So when we look at our um, data types, we notice that visits are a string. But we may want to do some calculations on these later on. So we're going to change it to an integer. And nothing's going to happen when we do this. So even though we've uh, changed our um, data type, we can't see that by just looking at our data. Everything looks exactly the same, both on the input and the output. And you wonder, like, wow, what actually happened here? But when we take a look at our metadata, we'll notice that our type has changed. So as we scroll down to our visits, we'll see that now our type is an integer, where when it came into the tool, it was a string. So string to integer. Again, this will save a lot of headaches down the road, like if you want to bring in a formula tool. Uh, we can also use the select tool to uh, rename, resequence, and describe our fields. So if we want to uh, change customer ID to just ID, we can do that. We can also move it. Uh, first name, we could change to just first. Last name to just last. If we want to change anything else, we can change that as well. Or we can add descriptions in the metadata. If you want to move multiple fields, you can highlight them and use the arrow next to the Options button to do that. If you hit the Run button, you can go back and look at the data again as it comes in. And as it goes out, you'll notice that our fields have been renamed and reordered. Another function of the Select tool is the ability to sort by field name. So you can reorder your fields in alphabetical order. Um, you can also actually uh, sort based on field type as well if you want to. But in order to do this um, alphabetically, you go to Options, Sort, Sort on Field Name, and then you can choose either Ascending or Descending. So if for some reason you wanted your fields to go from Z to A, you could do that. Uh, we're going to go A to Z, so looking at how our data comes in, and then how it goes out of the tool, it is alphabetically sorted. You also can look for tools in the search bar, and it's something that I really like to do. If I'm not sure which um, tool I want to use, I can go and I can search for the function that I want to do, and usually the tool will come up or some help on the Alteryx site will. The last example has us adding a prefix to a certain number of the fields available. We can do this easily by highlighting the fields we'd like to add the prefix to, go to the Options button, add prefix to field names, and in the pop-up we can specify our prefix. In this case we'll go with customer space and decide if we want to apply that to all fields or only the highlighted fields. I personally like to use the uh, dynamic rename tool for this, um, but this is a really cool function as well. Uh, we'll definitely have another video out on the dynamic rename if you'd like to check that out. We're not going to talk about the unknown box today, but we will in a future video. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.